Hello, everybody. Everybody, hello. Um, this live stream. Uh, you'll know it's live if you see a live scrolling chat and it will say live in red letters. Otherwise, if you do not see a live scrolling chat and you can just comment below like a normal video, then it's not live. Hi, Melissa. How's Melissa doing? Hi, Janie. Hi, Crafty Caboose. Hi, Left-Handed Crafter. How's everybody doing today? Hi, Rose. Hi, Candy. Hi, Shell. I'm good. I'm just like, my whole body hurts really bad and my voice is like gone for some reason. I didn't even talk that much. I don't know why my voice would be gone. It makes no sense. It's not like I was doing a lot of yelling or anything. It's just really weird. I don't know. So if my voice sounds cracky and weird, I apologize. I'm really run down today, but... <laughs> But I haven't done any creating since the last live stream I had where I did creating or whatever. So I need to do something. You went shopping at Tuesday morning for Danina? Awesome. Are you going to go shopping for me at Tuesday morning? <laughs> ah, that's funny. Danina, Danina doesn't have Tuesday morning where she's at? Huh. Hi, Danina. Hi Pauline. Hi Kelly. Hey girl, what's up? Hi Telma. Telma. Have you ever been in here before? I don't remember a Telma. Hi Sharon. Hi Christine. Uh, I don't think it's anything to do with pollen. I just think it's, you know, probably just maybe exhaustion and being outside and stuff. Awesome. Yeah, we're over the pollen thing because it's now summer here and everything's already bloomed. So there's not really, any, and I don't, I don't ever have allergies anyway. Luckily, I'm one of the lucky ones that never gets any kind of allergies. Oh, I never gessoed my page prior to. <sighs> so I'm doing a, a standalone page because I want to make more postcards because I sent out all my postcards or well most all of them there's a couple more but I mean I sent out more than six already um, but I still want to keep going so I'm gonna um, <clears throat> I'm gonna continue um, to make postcards and send them out just because I want to oh you're going to Tuesday see Tuesday morning is one of my favorite stores and yeah, I love Tuesday mornings. Love it. I haven't been in a long time. But I do love it. Oh, is it bad, your pollen? Where are you at again, Crafty Caboose? Oh, that's right. You're in, um, is it Arizona or California? I can never remember. You got the package from me, darling. Did you get your postcards from me? <laughs> she got her Motley Crew postcards from me. Mm -hmm. Oh, your Tuesday morning sucks, huh? Oh, that sucks. We have one like that. Um, we have one in Nashville. 
itself, the, like the city of Nashville, and it sucks. There's barely anything for crafts. It's like an older Tuesday morning. And then we have one that we had close to me that was like literally, you know, 10, 12 minutes away. And then they moved an extra like, you know, 10, 12 minutes from where they were at. So now they're like 20 minutes away from me, but that's okay. It's still not that far, but I wish they wouldn't have moved. Um, but I only, since they moved last year, I've only been in there like once. I just got gesso all over my arm. You got your encaustic metallic, metallica wax? <laughs> Danina's using her voice chat again. She's not typing. And so every half the things she says makes no sense. <laughs> She's got metallica wax. Uh, oh, is it? It's because I have white, and yeah, it'll do that. There we go. Sorry, I'm paying attention to the chat. You see peacocks. What are you talking about, Jamie? Jamie's on some sort of drug, hallucinogenic, where she's seeing peacocks. <laughs> she got her end cost go. You're hilarious. You have to decipher what you say. It's kind of like translating from another language when Danina talks. <laughs> because she doesn't, she's too lazy to type. She, she blames it on her spelling, but we all know Danina. You're just, you're just, too, your ass is just too lazy to type. So you don't have to lie and act like it's your spelling and all this and yeah. You're, you're just full of crap. It's just you don't want to type. <laughs> She's going to smack me. So her, her messages all come across like... Like she's uh, from a different country or something. <laughs> However, I've talked to her on the phone, so I know she's American. Not that it matters. It could be from anywhere. I don't care. Half the time I get along better with people that are not from this country. Is that's the funny thing, you know, I noticed about people from other countries. Oh, stupid camera, come on. You're, you're not with it today. Are you not feeling well either? It's because this is all white. I haven't got any color on it yet, so it's acting jacky. Come on now. Don't start this now. There you go. I'll put some color in the picture for you. You can do it. I know you can. There you go. It just needs some color. Nope, don't do it. I might have to shut off the autofocus for a while while it's white. But that's, you know, that happens because of anything white like that. I shut it off. He's a little drunk today. That's all right. That's all right. So if I go to focus something, you know, show something close and it's not focusing, remind me that I have the autofocus off. Now he can't mess around. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Hi, Kelly. We have two Kellys in here now. Kelly with an I and a Kelly with a Y. Oh, awesome, Amanda. That's awesome. Yay. Junk journals are a lot of fun to make. I'm going to hit this with the heat gun for a minute. Who is work, uh, in the meantime, who's working with us today? Who's, who's got a piece of something out to work on? Um, and I shouldn't have even gotten this out because I had, I actually, I totally forgot that I had planned on using a cereal box. And I, why did I get this out? I don't know why, because I wanted to make postcards. I don't know why I got this out. 
Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm I, I'm really, I'm still out of it from the weekend. But anyway, who's working with me today? Put some poodles out or just say you're working, you're following along today and actually doing the work so that I know. The hair. Come on. Hey, Jessica. Awesome. Linda's crafting with us. Hello, let's make a mess today. Kelly's working. But who's going to do mixed media mashup? Who's doing that? Kendra is. I know she is. Elizabeth P. She's following along. Awesome. If you're not doing mixed media mashup, as long as you're doing something, that's good. That's good. This is our creative time at night. This is for all those night owls like me. Most of us, I guess, are night owls to a, to a point. I, I feel more creative at night, that's for sure. Because there's usually a lot less interruptions and it's quiet. You're making a tag for a challenge? <laughs> well, you might be making a tag for no, more challenge because I might do... I'm, I'm thinking about doing a tag challenge next. But I like the idea of sending things out. So I think because we're not doing swaps in my group yet, I think the idea of just picking random people to send something to, I think we might keep that up. Um, because I like that idea of sending stuff out to, you know, and, and obviously, you know, I think everybody kind of liked the post, the postcard thing. So I think I'm going to keep that up with some things um, and do some, you know, like we might do a tag or some ATCs or a card or we're going to do some things where we can send some things out because I think I like that. It, it, you know, rather than a swap, which gets a little complicated, you got to have partners and this, that and the other. This way, it's kind of a random thing and everybody gets to send out, you know, and then the people that get it get to show what they got. It's kind of fun this way. I think it's, you know, for right now until we can put together some actual proper swaps. I think this whole sending out little mini happy meals is a lot of fun. Hi Debbie, how are you? Hi Linda Graham. Oh, and before I start, I forgot, I got Happy Mail. And I haven't even had a chance to tell her yet because I got it, because Chris got the mail on his way in tonight and he got in not long ago. So I didn't even have a chance to message her and let her know. But um, Donna, um, my friend Donna, um, this is her business card, which is really cool. I love the round business card. So I may put this into like something I'm doing just because it's really cool. But that's her cool business card um but it's uh uh she does she has a studio dorothy donna parker she's a really good artist but she um got me this awesome poodle necklace which i absolutely love look how pretty that is Oh, I forgot the autofocus isn't on. Let's turn it off for a second. I remembered that. <laughs> Surprisingly. Okay. Okay. Alright, now it should focus. It's a poodle. A rhinestone poodle. See how pretty it is? It's pink. Isn't that cute? And it's a necklace, and I absolutely love it. And I'm very excited about that. So she sent me that. It was really, really sweet of her. And as soon as I'm done with my live stream, I got to send her a message because she was worried the package got lost. And I just got it like 15 minutes ago, right before I was starting the live stream. So I didn't get a chance to message her. Yeah, she was really sweet for thinking of me. Such a thoughtful lady. 
And then I got from Christy, who I think you're in here, aren't you, Christy? I thought I saw you in here. This amazing postcard that she did with lots of mixed media on the background. Just beautiful. And with a fairy. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, I, it, something amazing I, I see is happening with the mixed media mashup and with the group kind of together because people that, you know, were very, very beginners of mixed media, um, ha, you know, used, has been, you know, following the mixed media mashup and using the cards and, and everything. And I notice like so many people blooming in their mixed media, they, they are, you know, I see them from, you know, months and months ago to now and, you know, I've seen things that they do and Kendra's one of them, Christy's one of them. Like, I mean, I'm not sure, I don't know, Christy, you weren't, you're not really a beginner, but I have noticed a difference in things that you've shared over the last few months. Like I notice a difference in, in, in things that people are creating. I notice such a difference in people. Um, which is awesome. You know, I love seeing that, but this is gorgeous. The background's beautiful. And then there's this little that she colored and it says the way to know life is to love many things by Van Gogh. Beautiful. I love it. Your daughter just got a puppy. Oh, I love doodles. Doodles are awesome dogs. Oh my goodness. Because they've got the smarts of a poodle and the loyalty of a, of, a, of a golden retriever. Beautiful dogs. And then, Miss Malika, who, is she even here? Usually she's here. Maybe she's not here, not coming tonight. But Miss Malika sent me a really pretty postcard. And it came all the way from um, Belgium. And... I love it. I love this background. Real pretty colors. The flower's a little crushy crushed, but that's okay. I can fix that. And I can see it looks like one of those circle flowers like I had done in that video. It looks like a whole bunch of little circles together. But she did a real pretty job on hers. And she gave me a note with really cool handwriting on the back. Very awesome. And then... One more from Miss um, Nancy Vastine sent me a real pretty um, uh, postcard with it says happiness is a cup is a wait not half the up I can't speak today happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend very cool and look at that butterfly how pretty very pretty. I love it. I love that background too. Lots of great backgrounds. That's what I like to see. So thank you, Nancy. Awesome. So happy to get all these awesome um, postcards. I've gotten a lot. I feel lucky everybody's sending me postcards. That's awesome because I'm going to put together a book um, and put these postcards in the book. I'm going to make like a little, almost like a little photo album just for my postcards that I got because I love them. Oh, you got one too, Janie. Cool. See, yeah, you're a beginner, but you don't, you, I wouldn't know it. You know what I mean? Like you've definitely, you've definitely, I could tell have grown over the past, especially, you know, four months or so three or four months since I've been watching some of the things you make and whatnot. Oh, I'm sure I won't. It'll be fine. I've never had to in the past, so I'm sure I will. It, I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, first card, music, book, or dictionary papers. And somewhere near me, I have dictionary papers, so I'm just going to grab those. Well... Hmm. I've got dictionary papers that have stuff on it. So we're going to use that. I'm going to use one of those. Okay. 
Actually, I want to use... this color. I kind of want some nice bright colors today. So I want to use bright color papers. So it doesn't matter if it, papers have music papers have paint on them. It doesn't matter. It just matters if you I'm just going to rip them up. Put them on. Just gonna glue them on. And I'm just using watered down Elmer's glue. Hey, Missy. Missy, Missy, Missy. We just pulled the first card if you're working with us and it's music book or dictionary papers and I'm using some painted on from when I did the feathers painted on papers Yeah, I hope my voice doesn't completely go out. It's never, I think only one time in my life has my voice ever completely gone out. It's gotten close several times, but... always had a fairly strong voice and lucked out and been able to avoid having it completely go awry. I'm dropping more of these papers on the ground than I'm getting onto my piece of watercolor paper. Get back over here. Kelly, we're doing a prompt. We do an art game every Monday night. That's right. You, you probably haven't been here for this yet. Uh, it's called Mixed Media Mashup, and I take cards that I made. They're prompt. Each one of these cards has a different prompt on it. Well, some of them are black because I haven't laminated them yet. But, And we pick these cards, and we do whatever's on the cards. And it's a good way to just get you... I just shuffle them up, and we just pick cards, and we do whatever's on them. And this gets us creating. And a lot of people in the chat who are watching the live stream will work along with me and use my cards. So they, sometimes they have their own cards because I give the prompts out for free so they can make their own cards. But when we do it together, a lot of times they use the exact cards I'm doing it and they do it with me. And by the end, we all have, you know, everybody has something different, but we all use the same prompts. It's pretty cool. It's just a way to get creating without thinking. And we just kind of do whatever the cards say and let it take us wherever we're going to go. And usually by the end, we have something cool. And sometimes I work in a journal and other, you know, and that I just keep and I don't cut up. But this is something I'm going to cut up at the end into postcards. So sometimes I'll show you my journal in a minute. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. And it, I've noticed how much it's helped a lot of people. I get messages all the time. That's one thing. I get a ton of emails and stuff, and, and I'll get messages constantly from people um, who don't talk in the chat, 
because there's a lot of people i mean you got to think i don't know how many people are in the chat right now and who are watching but you know something i realize is that only a handful of people actually talk in the chat and there's nothing wrong with that i, I understand you know if some people are a little shy that's cool you know there's nothing to be afraid of but you know i get it but some people follow along and they do the work they just don't talk you know they don't they just they just work and that's what they're here for to do their work and you know and what they'll do is they'll send me pictures of what they did and i love it that's my favorite thing is when i get pictures in an email they don't you know they don't like to maybe share it publicly with the group or whatever but they'll send me a picture and i love seeing and some of them send me every week they send me their pictures and i have noticed so many of them who have gotten so much better starting off like never doing a couple quite a few of them actually that email me have started off never doing mixed media in their life and they started doing mixed media mashup and now i'm shocked at how well they have done and some of them have become better than me which you know i'm not the greatest so i can't really say oh i should be shocked but considering that they've only been doing it a couple of months that's you know and i've been doing this a long time that's pretty cool you know that's really cool that that they've just really really gotten so good at doing it so i love seeing that i'm not that organized believe me but being organized is helpful, I'll tell you that. A little bit organized is helpful. You don't have to be 100% organized, but... But considering how my room is right now, I don't have a choice but to be organized, because it's either be organized or I might as well just not do it. <laughs> because of the space I've got is kind of small at this time. My room isn't that it's small. I mean, it's a 10 by 11 or I mean, 11 by 12 room, but because of where I have so much going on in this room, not just craft stuff. So I'm kind of cramped into a small area of the room. Hmm, I'm thinking of putting a few more, another sheet of paper on. I want to add some more. My nose is a little stuffy right now. No, I'm not sick or anything. At least I don't think so. I hope I'm not getting sick. That's going to really make me mad. I kind of want to keep it to these ye bright yellows and greens and pinks. I mean, who knows? They could get torn apart. I mean, torn. I'm tearing paper and I just said torn apart. This is where my brain is. They could get co totally covered up, is what I meant to say, not torn apart. God, I can't talk and do something else at the same time, or I'll just say whatever I'm doing instead of saying what I want to do. Who else does that? Because I know I'm not the only one. Somebody else has got to do that. Ugh, crazy. I kind of want to cover more of this paper. Or Not that one. I want to do this one here. Cover more of this with paper, I meant. Hey, who came in? The Graham, you came in before. Who came in? Zoe? Hi, Zoe. Glitter spray. I love glitter spray. Is it like the kind of glitter spray that goes in the hair? What kind of glitter spray is it? I need some glitter spray. They should make a, a pump bottle that has just glitter stuff in it. And all you gotta do is go like that and it puts glitter. But not in, you know, not in an aerosol where it's like all over the place and, and smells. Because aerosols generally stink. Maybe I'll put it down here. I would also like to see a pump of, um, like a, 
like a sealant, like a pump of uh, varnish. They make a pump glue, which is the E6000. I love that stuff. That stuff's pretty badass. It works pretty good. The first prompt is this, what we're doing. Music book or dictionary paper. So I'm just using painted di dictionary paper. So you didn't really miss anything. I'm just, I was just jabbing away. And so we're just now kind of getting started. So I'm sure you can catch up pretty quickly. Oh, I have one left. Whoops. Well, dang it. Can't leave this one out. It's like, no, put me in. Put me into the game, coach. Get me the freak in there. Okay, get you in there. Chill out. See, I have to talk to my papers. Otherwise, you know, they freak out. Oh, so has anybody else watched um, Orange is the New Black? Because the new season is out. I binge watched the entire thing. Believe it or not, since yesterday, after the the first thing I did after the yard sale was get on Netflix and start binge watching it, and I finished it by this afternoon because that's what I do. <laughs> I literally watched the entire thirteen hours of Orange Is the New Black. It was uh, thirteen episodes, an hour a piece, and I watched all thirteen hours. <laughs> in like basically one sitting all i did was get tired and went and uh, went to bed and then got up and immediately started watching them oh have you so have i shell great season by the way so awesome i don't want to spoil it for anybody that hasn't watched it but yeah very cool no no spoilers gonna happen here I won't spoil it. But what I will do is show Kelly because she hasn't doesn't know about mixed media mashup. Let me move this to the side a second. And uh oh, I need a, a wipe too. Cause my table's messy. Hi, Melanie. Oh, I've been addicted since season one. And every year I go through a mourning process after I watch the whole season. Um, for about a month, I go through an absolute mourning period where I'm so annoyed that I watched everything all at once and don't have it to watch and I have to wait till the next year that I get really depressed <laughs> I'm just like dang it I want to watch it um but anyway so here's one of them see like they don't always come out right they sometimes come out like a hot disaster but who cares it's just to get you creating and then you know sometimes they come out like crap other times they come out pretty cool you know, but the whole point of it isn't to make something gorgeous. It's to make something. It's to just get creating. And in the process, you might make something really cool or, you know, you might not, but it doesn't matter. It's all about messing around and using up your supplies and just getting a feel for mixed media. You know, that's what happens when the cards take over. You never know. Sometimes you get something cool. So we do it every Monday, sometimes Tuesday or Wednesday if I'm not feeling up to it or have something going on. But Monday night, 
This is what we do. This is what we do. And I got a lot of ladies who are addicted to it and love it. Because <laughs> I'm addicted to it too. I just unfortunately had to skip a week last week, which sucked. You're working on making an art journal. Have it going, but not done yet. So you're making an actual art journal, meaning there's going to be space in it to do art. That's cool. Yeah, see, I thought so too, Christy. That's the thing. I was looking and I'm like, I thought this this would be 17. And I kept looking and I could not find the video though. That's the weird thing. Unless I missed it. But I went back and looked. I'm like, because I always do. Like, because, you know, me, I'll, you know, I'm, I never remember anything. So I went back and I'm like, let me look and see what the last one was. Because I usually number them. And I the last one I see is 15. So I'm like confused. So if you see 16, let me know and I'll change it later. It doesn't matter. I could change the title later. But yeah, that was really weird because I thought it was, I also thought it was, um, it was 16. Okay. So I must have missed it or something. Or maybe I failed to, oh, I know what I could have done. I failed to change the title. Because usually I have to change the title because the live streams will be the same from the time before. It's, it's kind of annoying that uh, YouTube does that. But so I might have not changed the title. Um, so that's all right. I'll go. I'll change the title later. It's no big deal. I'll change it before it actually like the recording goes up. I didn't think of that, that I might not have changed the title on it. That's okay. It's so much work when it comes to um, having a channel and doing live streams and then putting, you know, because after it's recorded, I have to go back and like, you know, put all the end screen things in, like the little end, uh, little links and stuff in and go in and uh, set all the settings the way they should be and change the thumbnail and change the title and like do all this stuff. It's, uh, yeah. a lot of work to do a YouTube channel. Anybody that has one knows that. Especially once you start having like you getting above like 2,000 subscribers because for some reason I noticed that that's when the emails and the messages I started getting a lot of emails and messages and I have a hard time keeping up because I've said this before I get messages through my email at pinkpoodlecraft at gmail.com and but I also get messages on Pink Poodle Crafts page my regular Facebook page that I've had for years I get messages on that then I get messages through the group, Pink Poodle Pack, Creative Playground. And then on my personal, my personal Facebook, I get messages. And then in YouTube, I get private messages on YouTube. So I've got like six different places that I've got to look, you know, every time I go to catch up on my messages. And so every day, I probably get 100 messages a day. New messages 
from people. Not, well, not necessarily new people, but like new messages. It might be like continuing a conversation I was having with somebody else, but I get about a hundred messages a day. So if I don't check them every day, three days later, I've got three, up to 300 messages sitting in various places. So people, I've had people say, oh, I, I messaged you a week ago, but I haven't heard back and I have to explain. It's kind of hard. That's the part that's probably the hardest is keeping up with, um, with messages. But, you know, what did I do? It's still wet from when I wiped it. But, you know, you, you, you people, for the most part, people understand that I can't answer messages very quickly. I try really hard because I like to have, I like having the relationship I have with a lot of people that, you know, that watch my channel. I, I feel like everybody's my friend and stuff, but I also then put pressure on myself because I feel guilty, especially for the ones that I'm, you know, that I, you know, that I've gotten closer and closer with, you know, and I almost feel guilty sometimes because I won't be able to keep up with the messages, especially on Facebook, because Facebook messages get pushed down as new ones come in and like, I'll get, you know, forget to scroll all the way down or hit next and go to the next page. And so, yeah, it becomes a, a thing. And I, I, I'll, it just, you know, I try not to pressure myself. That's the only way I'm going to keep myself sane. But I hate when somebody gets mad at me for not getting back to them because then I feel like, oh God, everybody else must be mad at me too. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Mama Rose. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it's not a full-time job. I wouldn't go that far, but it's, you know, it can, it takes a few hours a day for sure. I would definitely call it a part-time job. It takes me about, if, if, you know, I would say I do about four hours a day of work and, um, on most days. Some days that I'm filming videos that are lengthier and having to edit and all that, it's longer. Some days are six hours a day. Some days can be 10 hours a day. <laughs> but on an average, it's probably about four hours a day, I guess. But I wouldn't give it up for the world. I love doing it. I just don't like when anybody gets upset with me because then I feel bad. Because then I'm like, oh, what, are, you know, I, I instantly want to think that there's something I did that, you know, I could fix. Which is why the whole situation that I had, you know, recently made me feel, you know, for uh, like for uh, like the initial first start of it, I actually felt really bad and felt like maybe I did something wrong. And then I realized, well, wait a minute, it's my channel. Nobody should be telling me that just because I haven't been able to stick to my makeshift schedule, which isn't set in stone necessarily, you know, just because I can't keep up with it all the time, you know, like, I'm not getting paid by that person. I'm not getting paid by anybody to do this. This is like basically a volunteer job. The only thing that pays me is YouTube and it's never could compensate. Like it, it's like one, like actually, let me, let me figure that out. Let me see my calculator. I'll tell you how much I make doing YouTube videos. Um, I could tell you, I could tell you exactly how much I make. I've never actually worked this out. I will take how much I get a month from YouTube divided by 160 hours a week, let's say, because let's consider it a, you know, or no, let's do four hours a day. Like I said, it was average of four hours a day, so it would be 100, it would be 80 hours a month. 80. I get uh, $2 an hour for those four hours a day. So about $2 an hour. <laughs> so, you know, it's not exactly a living wage by any means. So But it is enough for me to pay a bill or so, a small bill, or or go grocery shopping. <laughs> Janie, you were close. Yeah, you were close. 
But hey, you know. It's definitely better than nothing. What did you tell Danina? You said, wow, told you ladies. What does that mean? That's point twelve cents. For what? Secret. Oh, hi, Secret. I didn't even know you came in until I just saw you type that. Well, see, that's why I supplement my income by trying to um, sell stuff you know, here and there, sell little journals or sell little, my, some, oh, come on, focus. Get back on this side. It likes the color. There you go. Um, you know, but everything's fuzzy because my camera decided it, it was going to get fuzzy when it saw the white paper. Okay, I'm going to pick another card. I'm sure we're all ready for that now. Hold on. Oh, I see what you're saying. 12 cents for the 44 minutes I've been doing this. Yeah. Yeah, markers or pens. Yeah. Let me see, what markers am I gonna get out? Where are my, ooh, I was using those other markers. Where are they? What did I do with those now? Now I forget what I did with them. Let's use the bright colors. What other markers do I have? Um, oh, I know what I have. Hold on. Oh, do I have neon colors? I have loads of Crayolas. Let's see. I think this orange, is this a... Yeah, kind of. But see, these are water-soluble, which is nice. Because you can use these, if you didn't know. You can use Crayolas as watercolor markers. Just in case you didn't know. Maybe that's probably water soluble. Hmm. Which is why I keep them around. Then you can take a brush. Dip it in some water and move it around a little. Oh, this one's running out of juice. I've had these for years. Dip it in some water. Running out of juice. a different pink one out of juice there we go nice bright pink
I don't like the glue. Sometimes it's easier to just write them on here. Obviously, you could do yours however you want. You don't have to use these kind. You could use alcohol markers or whatever you got. That's a much juicier marker. Some of them are running out of their juice. lavender that kind of might look neon when I wet it a bit and water it down some yeah there we go Got a little different color in there Darker. That pink just sucks. Gotta, give me another pink. That's not really the best. Just another bright pink. I have like a million of each color in here. 
Mm. Oh well, let me try this one. This is a little darker than I wanted, but. That's all right. Once you water it down, it looks okay. Some more green. to me. Anybody need more time? And I'm going to move on to another card. Now, one second, I need to go grab a anti-nausea pill real quick. Mm. <clears throat> oh, yummy. Cool. And I also have some mounds. They're like one of my favorite candies. I asked Chris to go to the store because I gave him some money to go pick up some uh, milk and I said grab me some mounds while you're there but I have a, as soon as I can get my, get my anti-nausea pill down I'm gonna have a mounds <laughs> that's a cure for a upset stomach isn't it <laughs> I love all the pink poodles poodles I can't make a heart with my fingers there we go poodle love <laughs> Oh, somebody wanted to see Tigger the other day, and I forgot to go get him and show him. Oh, now I feel bad. I don't remember who it was, but somebody said, show us show us the poodle, or, you know, Tigger, I guess it was. They wanted to see. I don't know. Maybe they wanted to see a different poodle, but <laughs> I think it was Tigger they were talking about. Well, Secret's going to tell me that I shouldn't eat them. She's going to tell me they're poison. <laughs> Why? What happened, Jamie? Okay, next card is... Add tissue or napkin. Whoops, up here. Add tissue or napkin. All right, I'm going to go find me some napkins. Put back these markers for I trip over them. I have some neon napkins somewhere. I must. I must. I know I do, actually. This one. One, 
I got this napkin that's kind of got neon colors in it. Says, eat them all. <laughs> That's right. I will eat all the moon cookies in all the land. I'm a moon cookie addict, and I'm okay with that. I'm also a mountains addict. I don't like Almond Joy because I don't like to eat a soft mounds cookie and have to chew on a nut. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, mounds are good. Janie, your gesso was sticky? From the, oh, from the washable glue. Oh, and did you make Mod Podge with it? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Show you how it's inside. You mean the mounds? Oh. <laughs> Shut up. I leave my mounds all day for days. That's what it looks like on the outside. Looks like a, well, it looks like a cat turd, kind of. <laughs> it looks like that on the outside. And then on the inside, it's coconut. It's just dark chocolate with coconut. Mm. I love coconut. Mm-hmm. I don't mind eating another one. <laughs> There's five snack sizes in here. I can eat all five of these in a matter of five minutes or less. Bounty? Hmm. Is Bounty dark chocolate and coconut? I thought I've had Bounty before. I don't remember them being dark chocolate and coconut, but I could be wrong. I'm just going to rip this up and throw it on here. I'm going to put the whole thing on here. Why not? Why the heck not? Let's just put the whole napkin on. What have we got to lose? Nothing. Just our insanity. Bunch of little ripped up napkin pieces. Right? Right. So we'll just start gluing these puppies on. And some of my watercolor glue uh, markers are going to move when I put this on there. But I don't care. I don't care. I really don't. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter, just don't bite it. I know nobody's going to know that song. And if you do know it, don't type it in the chat. <laughs> I think, oh, I don't know. I don't, remember, I don't remember if the title was offensive, but the song was definitely offensive. <laughs> that was a song from the, was that the 90s? Early 90s? See you later, mess. She's gonna make a mess today. I think she already did, because I think I've seen a video from her already that she had up today, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't watched it yet. Um, 
but now I'm watching on Netflix um, The Unbreakable or Kimmy Schmidt. I also like that show. Anybody else watch that show? My Dawn. Didn't see you come in, but I see somebody saying bye Dawn. So I guess Dawn was here and I didn't see her come in. I'm not good at keeping up on the chat. Which song, Stacey? I'm not saying what song it is. It's just, there's a line in the song called, um, Don't Matter, Just Don't Bite It. That's all. I'm not gonna, we're not gonna get into the name of the song. <laughs> we're just gonna move on with our life. moon cookies. What about them? Oh, do oh, that's her name. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Oh, I'm, I'm a crap. I can't remember people's names when it's their... Th it takes me forever to associate a name with somebody's YouTube if it's different. Yep. That's me. It takes me forever. I should do what Barb does and um, write it down, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> Maybe I should um, appoint somebody to do that for me and like, I have to get an assistant who can watch my live shows and do a transcript and write everything down that I forget and then read it back to me later. I'll pay them. I'll pay them in mounds. <laughs> Their sole job is to just remember all the crap that I forget. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, goodness. Goodness. That's a lot of stuff to remember for somebody else. I remember that, um, yeah, 70 Acre Studios, Melissa... Cracked Heart Studio, I don't remember your name. Cracked Heart Studio, oh, T, that's right. You, you, you said to call you T, right? Terror T, terrible T, that's right. I remember now we were joking around about that. Oh, it's Teresa? But you had said something about call you T or TT or something like that? I don't know. I don't remember things. Got some good layers going on here now. I'm liking this. Oh, <laughs> don't matter, just don't bite it. My moon cookies keep your hands off.
track is still wet. Yeah, it's getting there. I like the colors. All right, I'm going to pick another one. If anybody has any um, objections, speak now or forever hold your glue. <laughs> 74 people watching and only 38 likes. Come on now. Give it a thumbs up now. Be a good little peoples. Little poodles. Alright, next card. Finger paint. <laughs> Teresa's looking to start some trouble today. <laughs> Finger paint. Finger paint. Finger paint. I'm gonna get out my finger paint. Hi, Nancy. I showed your um your thing that you sent me. Your uh, postcard. I showed it earlier. Thank you very much. It's really pretty. Let me get the orange sparkly one. Is this the sparkly one? Yeah. Orange sparklies. This orange has sparkles in it. We're finger painting. Ah, uh, glitter hands. Covered in paint, covered in paint. Now we need some yellow. This yellow doesn't show up all that bright. Kind of blends into the background a little. That one's a little more opaque. All 
That's all right. That's all right. Yep, got to get through the ug stage. There's always an ugly stage. I'm kind of there, but it'll go, it'll go by fast and it won't be ugly anymore. Just got to get past the uglies. That's how it is. I don't just finger paint. I whole hand paint. <laughs> I just grab on and just start wiping it around. Oh, it looks good with the green. I like it. Don't spill your delusions paint. You might become delusional. <laughs> oh yeah, that I could have gotten out those paints too. Those would have worked. The pink and the green. It's nice bright colors. here with this color here. So I might add some more of that since it dried there. Ooh, then I have this color. Wait a minute. I don't have that color. That's not the color I want. This color. But I have another color. I kind of like those two mixed together make a cool color. I like it. It's looking like a hot mess right now, but I ain't worried. Most of the time they've all got to go through that stage. The layering process could make it look funky and then it usually will work itself out. If not, oh well, it's a piece of paper who gives a crap. They have metallic? I didn't know they had metallic. I think I'm going to use this whole cereal box. Both sides were one of the postcards, two postcards coming from 
you really need to use some punctuation or just say one sentence per message because I don't understand what that has to do with it. But then I see you say you're on pain meds, so that kind of makes sense. So you on pain meds plus using that voice thing, you might as well not talk because nobody's going to understand you. <laughs> Something about using an entire cereal box. That's good. All right, are we ready for some more? Can I have some more, please? Let's take another card. <laughs> Add circles. Let's add circles. Let's add circles. Where's my bottle? Well, I might be able to use this, but I won't be able to get my hands around it. I want to stamp some circles. But I can't find my thing for my thing for my thing. Well, I can always use the bottom of my water. Well, not really. That one is not good. I have, oh, here we go. Here we go. Look out to this. We're going to put some uh, black and white circles. That sounds about right. First, we'll do the white with some clumpy paint. Mm, I'll do it here. Here comes a clump out of my paint. Clumpy ass paint. Lots of circles. <clears throat> I have a lot of white paint left over. That's all right. Hi, Weiss. I'm going to pick up this white paint put it in this bowl for the temporary time being because I might use it to splatter with later. That might be good splatter paint later if I feel like it on my postcards. Hi Robin. Hello to anybody that's come in that I haven't said hi to. Let me dry these real quick and then I'll do some black circles too. I'll do smaller black circles.
say maybe pointy round. I'd like a littler round. This might work. The bottom of this might work just fine. Because I want something a little smaller. Let's use this black clumpy paint. Oh, that's nice and clumpy. Clumpy Clumperson. Of course, if you don't want to do it, your circles this way, you can always just draw them on. This is a good way to rid your page of the uglies because the black and the white circles or any shape really kind of puts things to the background and makes it look really cool and it hides anything that was looking kind of ugly and it just makes it look not ugly anymore or at least not as ugly. It's just another layer to add to give it some visual interest, as they say. All those fancy words. I just call it a little something something. I like it. I like it. Interesting. Now I will take, whoa, and drop stuff and put this little bit of black paint in here. Oh no, this is getting cut up into postcards. What are we congratulating Kelly for? What did you do? What did you do? I missed it. Let me see. Still don't know. Somebody tell me what what are we congratulation on everybody for? Oh, quit! Did you? Uh, yeah, quitting smoking. Congrats! How far have you gone? Because I think I remember you said you had quit last time, right? Am I mistaken, or was that somebody else? Oh, I got a paint blob. <sighs> Messing up my circles with a paint blob. This one I'm going to get rid of because it's going to take forever to dry. Oh, that's a glop. A paint glop. These glops. Smoke free for a month. Awesome. You're doing good. Congrats.
Yeah, you're kicking ass. I always say, if you can go a month, then you've got it in the bag. Because it just, it gets better from there. Big time better. Hey, creative space. Janie, you quit 24 years ago? That's awesome. That's a long time ago. Alright, I'm picking another card. You stamps. I kind of just did. I did stamps, but I did them with the, the bottles. But I do have a stamp that I don't mind breaking out. And using. I can use this one. This cool little swirly stamp. Maybe I'll use a little bit of white ink on it. Give it a try with some white ink. See if this white ink will show up. Let's see. Vaguely, which is good. I don't want it to show up too bright. But it's just another thing in the background. shows up a little bit. That's all that matters. for me. You know, my mixed media motto is more is more. Awesome. I'm liking this. works so show I know you can't see it very well but it's pretty cool all the swirlies in the background Your mom started smoking again, Aristi? Oh, that sucks. Why do you keep the clumps? What clumps? 
I don't keep the clumps. Are you talking to me? I'm having another mound. <laughs> oh, it's melting because it's sitting on my laptop. And my laptop's warm. Chocolate. What paint clumps? I don't. I throw them in the garbage. I get them out of my paint and throw them in the garbage. <clears throat> I do I do keep these clumps. It's all secrets fault. I keep these little clumps off of the paint bottles. You know the little clump that comes off the paint bottle? Like for instance, not that one. I know one of these bottles has got to have one. No, that ain't got it. You know how around the bottle you get like the little clump? I peel them off. And save them. You made an ATC with them? Yeah. When I have enough of them, I'm going to make something with them. I've just been saving them and saving them now. All right. They look like roses. Oh yeah, I never thought about that. They do. I keep those clumps from the bottles, but I don't keep the actual paint clumps that I get in my paint. Those I throw in the garbage. I pull them out of my paint when I pour my paint out, and if there's a clump, I grab it and throw it in the trash. But I keep these little ones from around the bottle because, I don't know, because I don't want to, like this, here we go. Like these little ones, especially the ones that are like round, that come off round. This one kind of broke. I like when they come off round. Here we go, this one, no, maybe not. Oh, there's one. It came off kind of round. <laughs> but I keep those, and we glue them to things. I don't know, because we're weird. Because we like texture. You know, just something to do I guess why not they're interesting looking you couldn't manufacture that shape so why not <laughs> what is enables enables means like to kind of convince somebody uh, to kind of give them a little nudge not force them but convince them be like enable them to approve of them and convince them that it's okay to buy stuff or do stuff that's enabling them like if somebody already has a bit of a shopping problem and you are and you're like oh look at these cool new things I got look at these new paints look at this look at this look at this and they get that feeling that they got to go out and buy stuff it's because you're enabling them you're you're pushing them to do it in in the in the context of what we're talking about um i'm sure enable has other meanings but in the context we're talking about it's like kind of kind of feeding their addiction for buying stuff you know feeding it by enabling it we're enabling it you know enabling it is like you know you know you're welcome. Watch my new video going out. Oh, I will. You're going to send me your paint boogers, Jane? <laughs> if you send me your paint boogers, Jane, or not your boogers, but your little things around it, I'll make, I'll make you a, a postcard or something with them. I'll stick them all on and I'll form them in the shape of a heart or something and I'll send it back to you. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's 
kind of like, you know, how when somebody's an addict, uh, drugs, alcohol, whatever, and somebody enables them and kind of doesn't do anything about it, kind of allows them to continue doing it. Same type of thing. All right, next card, next card. Add gesso. Now you might think, well, why would I add gesso to this? Well, why the hell not? Let's add some gesso. Why not? We can add a little. We don't have to go overboard. We can just go like that. And just dry brush little bits of gesso on there. Why not? Why not? We can do it. We can do whatever we want. It's just another layer. I'm saying screw it. Let's dry brush some gesso on there. You don't have to. You can avoid this. You can use it to stamp something else. But why not? Little Jess will never hurt nobody. We like it. Oh, Jesso is our friend. Jesso makes us happy. Sometimes Jesso can bring a new life to a project. I like it. Good, good, good. I'm good with that. Just a little. Don't need a lot. I mean, unless your project is really looking crappy, then I would say to dry brush a little more gesso on it. And you can kind of knock back whatever you think looks crappy on your project. Gesso can be a great tool to help you through the uglies. I didn't think mine looked ugly, but I felt like adding gesso anyway. I like the effect it gives sometimes. That cloudy kind of dreamlike look to the paint where it's like, is it there? It's so faint. Is it there? <laughs> Sorry, what? I didn't cover the pretty colors. I just added gesso. I didn't cover anything. That's covering something. I didn't do that. I added some dream to my page, that's all. I'm listening, I'm here. Hi, Angela. Yeah. Thanks, Cheryl. Sometimes I like to leave things really bright and other times I like to, I don't know, add some gesso, make it a little different. I'm still gonna pick some more cards. There might be something else that I go, oh, I might go back and add more gesso just so I can do something else. Who knows? Time will tell. I like feeling it when it starts getting texture on it from different things. I just like to feel it. Everybody always, make, I think, was making fun of me one night because they were saying that every time I always do this to everything. I do. I like to feel it. I like feeling. Don't give Danina your address. She's a stalker. She's coming to get you. That's why she wants it. She wants to watch you through the windows when you're changing. <laughs> Do 
Nina's a stalker. <laughs> what looks like a fire opal? Yours? Oh, you're going to have to show me that. Or are you talking about mine? I wish mine looked like a fire opal. I love fire opals. So pretty. All right. Does anybody have any objections to me picking another card? Because I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, look paint and ink sprays see so I added gesso just so I can add some more paint paint and ink sprays hmm do I want to do that maybe maybe thinking mm hmm We're adding drippy drips. Drippy drips. Ooh. What's in there? Drippy drip drips. Drippy drips, drippy drips, drippy drips, drippy drips, drippy drips. Those aren't black, they're purple. You just they look darker. They're not that dark. They look darker in the video, but they're really not that dark in real life. They're not that dark in real life. I mean it. Lots of drips. And now the time has come for us to face the final curtain. No, 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 no. And there we go. Got some cool looking. Drippity drip drips in the background. That look kind of in the background. They look cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Angela. I do too. They add something. They add something. I like it. This is going to look like cool postcards. You splattered with red ink. Ooh, that's cool. Good deal. 
going to pick another card. What are soluble crayons or markers? I'm not going to do this one, but you can if you want to. I don't need to do that one. I'm good with that. But if you want to, you can add water soluble crayons or markers. Yeah, make sure you check out Secret's website. It's not live yet, though. Is it Secret right now? Not yet? Soon. Oh. Then we've got Stencil. I definitely want a Stencil. I feel the need to Stencil. Let me dry this. Let me go grab a stencil real quick. I got this stencil. You know what? No, I don't want this stencil. Hold on. Hold on. That's 
the one. We're gonna do it with um, crap. Mm, get over here. I'm gonna do it with some with some stuff. do it with some metallic lusters because I said so. Hmm. This one's falling apart. Hmm, a decent one. There we go. I like to use two different colors. Because it'll look cool.
Phew. There's a lot of work on my wrist just to get one side done, but it looks cool. Can you see the shiny stuff? I don't know if you can see it on camera. It looks cool, trust me. You just have to trust me. It does look cool. It'll give a little bit of interest on each of the postcards. I'm going to do it again over here. A little visual interest, as they say. get it to spread sometimes when the stuff isn't soft enough it doesn't spread very well Quite easier to spread it with my fingers, honestly. Yeah, oh, I just moved it. Don't move it, King Bat. Yeah, a little easier to do with my fingers, I think. I'll do it just with my fingers. It'll probably come out a bit more even. So just do it like that. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Easier. I'm not necessarily looking for that much texture. I just want the two-tone look of the colors. Teal is more soft. Metallic. All right, gotta move that over. Hmm, where's my book? Because if I, not that one, where is it? This one. Here. 
There we go. I don't want it to stick together. Very close, except I. The only difference I think, and I still haven't figured this out yet, is that Inca Gold is a beeswax based, and this is not. Um, but I thought they were both very similar, so I'm not positive. But they are almost exactly the same as far as how you can use them. So, all right, that's about all I'm going to get out of that. Yeah. So that, of course, my cheap wax paper that I use. <laughs> All right, time to clean this stencil. Oh, alcohol for this sucker. I should save that. <laughs> yeah, ink golds are water soluble, but I think they have a beeswax base to them. Whereas I know the Deco Arts does not have a wax base to them. but I'm not positive if the Inca Golds have a beeswax. I've seen conflicting things about that, and I wasn't positive. Come on. Huh. Got a pattern. I don't feel like dealing with it, otherwise I'd make a print of it, but... Hi, Malika. I showed your postcard earlier. Thank you. I was really pretty. All right, that's good enough. You know me. I gotta clean everything to the max. I made quite a mess with all that, didn't I? Well, what are you going to do? Okay, I'm going to pick another card for those who want it. But then, pretty soon, I'm going to cut mine up into postcards because they're going to look really cool as postcards. It's a hot mess right now, but as postcards, I think they're going to be nice and textury glimmery and cool looking. That's what I want. 
so that then I can do more stuff with it. So I'll pick a couple cards for everybody else. Splatter. Oh, I should do splattering though, since I have black and white paint. But I'll pick a couple of cards. Add sparkle. Oh, I should do that too. Well, I'm going to do that to the individual postcards. So we got splatter, add sparkle, and colored pencil. So if you want to do that, I'm going to do the splatter. Even though I don't have my splatter brush yet, I still can't find it. I hit it somewhere on myself. <laughs> but I don't know where the hell I hit it. It makes me mad. Well, I'll go back to the fan brush, but let me tell you something about that. That makes a big mess. Actually, you know what? I have a different brush I could probably use to splatter with. Where is it? Let's see. Do I have a little brush down here? Let me see. I think I have a little. I have a little one? Not really. Well, maybe. Let's see. In this bag, I should have something. One of these little. This should work. I should be able to splatter with it. Let's do some white splatters. Um, oh, it's in my head. Well, why don't we just drip it then? <laughs> It doesn't want to splatter this thing very well because I think it needs to be more wet. Stop making noise. There we go. Now we got some splatter going. Now that it's on everything, we got some splatters of white, and then when this dries, maybe I'll do some black splatters too. Why not? If I do it now, they'll turn gray. We don't want gray splatters. Hi, Laura. put water in my metallic lusters before I close them up so that they stay nice and hydrated and then I put them in plastic so in plastic bags when I pack them back up again they're all in plastic bags because that stuff dries out you know what I think I might do sparkle after all or glitter I might just do some glitter splatters you could try it Let's see. Let's see. Clean out my dirty bowl. Just 
instead of black. You can do sparkle. Raise on mold. No, because my water has glycerin and alcohol in it. The water that's in here has a little glycerin and a little alcohol. It's not going to mold. I keep a jug under my desk of water and I fill it with water. And then I put alcohol and glycerin, which will keep it pretty well. Whoops. Oops. Sorry, I hit them. I hit the plug on my light. Um, I put alcohol and glycerin, or if you have distilled water, you can use distilled water. Hi, Crystal. Welcome. You're new here, huh? Do you do mixed media? What kind of art do you do, Crystal? Let's see. Let's get our water down. Let's use this brush here. We're going to splatter. A little more water. There we go. Just put some. I'm getting it all over my face. I'm just going to do that. It's easier. It's just paint it on and glop it on. It's glitter after all. Just want it as glittery as possible. In fact, put some more on and just really glitter this sucker up. Give it a good coating so that each postcard that I cut out is glittertastic. And then all I gotta do when I cut these postcards out is put a little saying on it or a little picture and all the art is already done. Just a lot of layers and color. Oh, Janie. <laughs> They're going to be four by six. <laughs> you know. But I don't know what I'll do after I cut them. They might be... They might be six by four. I don't know. I might be four by six or six by four. <laughs> This is a mashup. This is basically a mashup. Basically what, what mixed media mashup is, is where I, ha I made these prompt cards and they have different sayings on them. Or not sayings, prompts. Like this one says chalk pastels. This one says add a border. This one says distress. This one says add hearts. This one says add texture. This one says dry or wet emboss. This one says ink. So what we do is we shuffle them up and then we pick cards until we have, uh, you know, a, a messy background or, you know, it doesn't have to be like this. I'm making postcards, so I want them to be as busy as humanly possible because that makes really good postcards or ATCs. Um, but anyway, so we picked all these and we're just working on making something cool. Because sometimes I work in a journal, and we end up getting some cool things when we do it in a journal. So sometimes it comes out, you know, like this, if I'm working in a journal. Other times, 
I do this because I just want like a really busy background with lots of glitter and sparkle because I'm going to cut it up into ATCs or postcards. In this case, I'm going to cut them up into postcards. But that's what the prompts are for. I give out the prompts during this live stream and you guys work on it. You don't have to. You can just watch. Some people just watch. But a lot of people participate and they end up with something that looks really cool. You're working on a box right now. It turned out okay. Frustrating. Yeah, they could be. <laughs> things like that could be frustrating. I've been there. But hopefully sometime you'll participate with us. Exactly. It helps everybody have the same prompts, but their art always comes out so much different than everybody else's. It's crazy. But um, if you join our group, we have a Facebook group called the Pink Poodle Pack Creative Playground. That's where everybody's going to show what they did today and kind of share their art. It's pretty cool. Well, everybody posts their own work up on the Facebook group, um, but some people don't, you know, don't want to post their work and, you know, that's up to them. They don't have to post it, but um, for the most part, everybody shares what they did on in the group and just to share it, you know. Malika, do you have, are you narcoleptic? <laughs> She's always falling asleep. I think you should go to the doctor and get checked for narcolepsy. <laughs> Unless it's, I think it's really late for you though, but she tries to stay awake, but I think she's also narcoleptic maybe. This, this is a combination of <laughs> <laughs> of all of these things sparkle colored pen well i didn't do the colored pencil but sparkle stencil um what are soluble crayons or markers gesso stamps i added circles with paint finger painted i had tissues and napkins paint and ink sprays markers and pens splatter and we started with where'd it go music or book pages so there's everything on here everything I didn't hold back. I put everything. All kinds of layers after layers after layers. Brushes are powdered watercolor paint. Powdered dye pigment. They're a lot of fun to play with. There are two different types of uh, powdered pigments. There are pigment powders and there are dye powders. Dye powders, when you put them on water, will bloom out and act like watercolor. Whereas pigment powders act more like uh, act more like a, like a paint. Uh, they act differently. They're more like your pigments. I don't know, but the dyes act like 
the blooming, they do that blooming thing when they hit the water, whereas pigments don't do that as much. Like regular pigments. Like I can, I could probably show you when I'm done drying this. Dyes are more concentrated, dye powders. Yeah, they look like fireworks when they hit the paper and, or hit the water. I gotta let this dry a minute before I cut it, so I'll show you what I mean because now I've got some actual pigment powders. I can show you the difference between dye and pigment powder. Hold on a second. Let me go get them. I gotta make myself a path. Block my path. There's only one way in and one way out of where I sit. <laughs> Good Lord. Okay, so brushos are powdered dye. Okay, well, I want a different color than the way I got in the pigment powder. Find a red. There we go. So this is a pigment, um, and this is a dye. Now this is powder in here, but I can't open the top. I sprinkle it onto the water. So I'm going to sprinkle this onto it as well, but I'm going to use a palette knife to pick it out and kind of sprinkle it. Or I'll, actually, I'll use a fan brush. That's the easiest way. Um, where is my fan brush? There it is. Okay, little fan brush. I'm going to spray some water onto the page. And I'm going to sprinkle the pigment powder. I put some on my brush. And I'm going to sprinkle it. That did bloom a little bit. But the difference between that, which kind of bloomed a little bit, but mostly sat because it's a pigment, not really a dye. But the difference is, let me re-wet this a little bit. The difference is pretty remarkable with what happens with actual you see like what's going on with the dye compared to the pigment the dye is like really moving the dye moves a little bit more and these kind of sit and like you know what I mean like I can't explain it these don't do the same thing as these do These give more of a, a bloom, and these will, they'll do a little bit, but mostly it's just the them pushing the water away, because there's so much water on there, but it doesn't do the same, like, bloom effect as this does, where it shows up like that. You see what I mean? Yeah, these will give like a firework, whereas these kind of sit and they kind of like, 
they'll spread, but you know, they'll only spread so far. Whereas these, like you can see all the different colors that are in just the purple. If this will ever focus, that would be nice. You get more out of dye when it comes to putting it directly on paper. Whereas the pigments are better for mixing with your mediums. Like in other words, these are better to mix with your gesso to get like, a, or your, um, your, your matte medium to get like a paint. That's what you would use this for. Whereas a dye powder is better for this type of thing. You get more out of it, a dye powder, when you use it on this type of thing. You get more vibrancy. See? You can play with it more. Why are we keep dropping everything? Come on now. You get more like vibrancy out of it. And you could do that a little bit with these particular pigments. Most pigments won't even do that much, but it doesn't do the same. It's not the same. Like I had to use a lot of pigment, whereas this I was sprinkling tiny little flakes, barely anything out of here because it's much more, this is much more concentrated than this. I'm having to pull out like a large paintbrush full, like that much, which is actually a lot, to get a little bit of something. Whereas with the dyes, the dye powder, I don't have to use as nearly as much. Like I'm literally sprinkling out like that little tiny bit and it'll give you so much more of the blooming. Like that was just from what went on my hand. You know what I mean? I don't know. Can't explain it any better than that. But that's why the brushos are so cool. So any dye pigment, including the magical, they're also a dye pigment. They're going to do that as well. But what's cool about this stuff is, now where is it? Let me find it. So I could take matte medium and put some matte medium in there. Take a paintbrush full of this pigment and mix it in here. And then I've got blue paint. And that's literally what paint is. So now I've got a nice blue paint. That's how you make paint. Matte medium is the base of paint. It's acrylic. It's acrylic without the paint, without the color. So that's how you can use pigment powders. And you can make it as dark or as, you know, or translucent as you want. Uh, is there a way to contain it to a smaller space? Do you mean the brushos, what I was sprinkling? Um, yeah, if you do it through a stencil. Or if you sprinkle some out and then added a little water or this stuff. But if you're going to do that, then you might as well just get some matte medium and some pigments. These pigments are very, very affordable. And you can get the whole set of primaries, which was like five or six of them. For like 15 bucks and you get a lot i mean this will make so much paint that i you know and of course i got it to use with my encaustics my wax to make wax paint but i mean just that little bit i mean look how much paint it made you know so you can make a lot of paint with pigments you make your own all different colors and this will last forever this would fill this up probably five times you know, or more with just that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you get a lot out of that. But as far as the brushos go, they're not really meant, if you're going to use brushos, brushos, first of all, are expensive. But I think most dye powders 
are expensive. Um, they're not cheap, but these brushos are expensive. For a set of like eight colors, it's like 30 bucks. They're not cheap. So, I mean, brushos, color burst, magicals, they're all dye powders or powdered watercolor. Same thing, dye powder. Um, whereas these are a pigment powder, better for acrylic painting. Like, you know, it's the same as, it's the same difference as in acrylic paint. Because you can make watercolors with this if you use gum arabic. You can make watercolors with these type of pigments. But if you want to make that blooming firework look, you want to use a dye powder for that. You found 12 colors for 30. Yeah, 12 colors for 33. I think 8 was 24. 8 colors are 24 bucks and it was the 12 colors that are 33. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, it's not worth if uh, brushos, these are not meant to like, these are meant to sprinkle and get really cool looks, do them through stencils and stuff like that. That's what these are mostly meant for. Um, these are probably the best uh, value for your money, even though they're quite expensive. But I also have the color burst um, and there you don't get as much powder. And they're about the same price. You get more powder in these. <laughs> yeah. I got. Uh, I have the. Um, what do I have? The, the 12 pack and the 8 pack I think. Yeah. They were given to me in happy mail. I love brush shows though. They're awesome. Very awesome. But anyway, it depends on what you're looking to do. I really like pigments because I like what you can do do with them. I like that you can add them to paint. You can add some gum arabic and make watercolor, you know, and I can use them with my wax. So, that's cool. Stacy that waxing you use. Stacy that waxing you use sometimes the metallics. What are they? They don't exist in Belgium. The ones that I was just using, these? Are you talking about these metallics? These aren't wax. These are water-based. These are acrylic. Just a really thick acrylic paint, basically. Really thick acrylic um, paint. Although it says wax metallic finish, but from what I've been told, these are not wax. So I don't know. Somebody needs to look it up because I don't know. I was told that these were water-based, not wax-based. And that Inca Gold was possibly beeswax based. But I'm not sure. I'm not fine. Is it dry yet? Yeah, it's dry enough to cut some postcards. Let's see. I'm going to measure it. This is 12 by, I think, 10. postcards out of this if I cut them this is 12 no this is 15 so if I cut six out of here Let's see. 
we are going to get make our postcards. Or I'm going to make postcards. Six and then six. And that'll leave me with leftover for ATCs. Leftover six by four. One. Another ATC. So it's going to give me four postcards. And then I'll have some ATCs. ATCs. Let's see, what are these? Three. And I also have some um, make some inches and such or not even inches just little sh little strips of things I don't know I don't know whatever half inches <laughs> this I can make inches out of that's a cool ATC This at what is this again? This is at three. She's I'll worry about that later. Right now I want to look at postcards. Right. We got four good postcards. This one I need to cut off the excess napkin. Very cool. Then I need to find some sort of photo or something, or just leave them like this, honestly, because they kind of look really cool. Just all glittery and they've got cool texture. I like them. Get some sleep, girl. Well, you could do more postcards. I'm going to do more postcards just because I want to. But, you know, feel free to do whatever you want. We aren't going to do that as another challenge, per se. But you can do it. I'm going to continue making postcards just because I want to. to look for some other graphics. I don't really have anything right now. That would get very lost on there. But it matches.
Let's see what else I got. <laughs> that would look cool on there. What else? Oh, that would look cute. It's a little big. I'd want it a little smaller. But it's cute. It says be yourself. And it's a little flamingo. And I've got this. Would look cute on there too. I'd want that a little smaller too. Just a little smaller. Because I want more of the background to show. Or I could just do that. That actually looks kind of cool. Just on it. Just like that. I like that. Ooh, I could put that on there. Wheresoever you go, go with all your heart. You know. I don't know. I might print out some new things to put on there. I'll have to see. Digging through here real quick. I don't think I have anything that great in here to use. I'll have to print something out. Yeah, I'll have to print something out. I like that one though. I think I'll keep that one on one. Ew, that hurt my hand. I like this one on this one. I'm going to ink it around the edges with some pink. Pink and some glitter. Actually, I don't want to use I'm going to put this on, then I'm going to put glitter on it. Glitter. Michelle, are you still in here? What were you, what were you going to make that you needed, that you were going to do flowers? Oh my god, the fart one? What are you talking about? Huh. Am I out of the loop? Oh, I just spread off something that was wet on there. All over my thing. That's alright. That's alright. I'll live. Maybe I'll write the word art in glitter. She is here, she says. What are you making? What kind of flowers are you making? For whom and for what? Like on a canvas or in what medium are you using? Oh, is this that thing that you thought the last time I used this graphic you said follow your fart? <laughs> Is that, is that it, Malika? Is that what you thought I said? Somebody said that the last time. I'm remembering, I think. Follow your fart. <laughs> uh, you guys are like a bunch of 12-year-old boys. <laughs> Malika. Oh my goodness. I got crap all over it. <laughs> See? I, got, I wiped my finger and I got crap all over it. That's alright. It's art! That's art. I put that there on purpose. It's all art. Screw it. I don't know if I should use black or if this will show up. Yeah, it doesn't really show up. 
Well, I'll put it on and then I'll put black. Why not? You could do it all. You could do everything. You could do what we want. You've been told what before to follow your fart? <laughs> Oh, you guys. You guys make me laugh. You sillies. So there's one of them done. I think mean, it looks pretty badass. I love when I make stuff like this just because it's got so much to look at. To me, I find that more interesting than just something specific. And it's got everything. It's sparkly and it draws your eye to everything at once. It's like a trip on acid right in your hands. <laughs> Party! And then I got ATCs too. So that's pretty cool. ATCs. You can get all kinds of stuff. Yes, the yard sale, Stacy. Uh, the yard sale sucked, but that's all right. I made a video in the in the group. I go live. Uh, well, definitely twice a week. Um, I usually do a pajama party on Friday. That's where we kind of just do whatever, whatever I feel like it. We just do it. <laughs> Um, and then the only one that's like any kind of regimented project that we do is the, is this one. On Monday nights at 9.30, we do the mixed media mashup cards. Um, but other than that, Friday night we go live. But I go live throughout the week too. I might go live at 5 o'clock in the morning. I might go live just whenever. Just, you know, if I'm feeling up to it and I'm just, you know, wanting to hang out. And work on something I'll go live but I also do videos like proper videos that show you how to do things my lives aren't really to show you how to do very much my lives are for just kind of chilling and doing stuff together and just kind of chilling out and talking and stuff and working on different various things but I have videos too know what I mean? Thanks, Kelly. Yeah, it's Pink Poodle Craft Creative Playground. Pink Poodle Pack Creative Playground. I said it wrong. Oh, I think Kelly typed it wrong, too. That's okay. It'll still come up, I think, if you type in Pink Poodle Pack or Pink Poodle Craft or I don't know. It'll come up. I wish the live streams allowed me to post a link. I mean, even if it just allowed me to post a link, because it's my live stream, like, it's stupid that it doesn't allow links in the chat. Hi, Janet. Do you have the fabric medium to go with your brushos? Well, I have fabric medium somewhere um is there a special one that goes with brushes and the, i've never used brushes on fabric before um i would imagine on fabric they don't do that bloom thing uh but i mean are you, you like tell me what you know janet <laughs> she knows more about it than me 
There's a Brushos one. Okay. I've never, I don't have it. I've never heard of it. Are we talking about PMS? <laughs> yeah, scan it for me. I'll be I'd be interested in seeing what that's all about. Hmm. Because I wouldn't mind using that on some fabric. Yeah, I'm hoping this week to finally play with oh letting paint dry in there to finally play with my um um with my wax with the proper encaustic stuff that I got definitely want to do that this week Oh, really? You met the lady that developed brushes? Oh, that's cool. Well, I bet that was interesting. Is Angela a cat now? <laughs> oh, I bet she does. I love brushes. They're a lot of fun to play with. We'll have to have another brushos night soon. Interesting. <laughs> All right, ladies, I'm going to get off of here because my back is hurting and sitting on this chair doesn't help things. My whole body feels like I was hit by a truck after the stuff I did this weekend. It was crazy. It was a lot of lifting and carrying and stuff. And then I got the brilliant idea that I should ride a bike, even though I only rode it for like 30 seconds. <laughs> Still wasn't, probably wasn't the smartest idea to do. I've been itching to ride my bike though, because that bike is brand new and I've never really gotten to ride it because I got sick shortly after I got it. And then it was winter time. And then, well, I didn't, that's right. I had my knee surgery when I bought that. I bought that right before my knee surgery and then I had my knee surgery and ever since then I've not, my knee wasn't strong enough to ride it and then when it finally was starting to get strong enough, I that's when I got cancer and then, you know, and the Crohn's disease was all acting up and I had that surgery and then I was sick again, like, I, so I never got to really ride my bike. The damn thing was brand new. So I was selling it. Um, for 50 bucks, but I wouldn't take any less than 50 bucks for it. Like somebody had offered me less money and I said, no, because I don't mind getting another bike at some point because I know there are, you know, that bike's like, you know, probably four years old, three years old. And it's, you know, it wasn't the bike that I really, really wanted, but I couldn't afford that at the time. So I just got that one. So there's, a, you know, I'd rather get a nicer bike at some point because I do plan on, you know, riding. Because I used to ride bikes all the time, ride my bike all the time and go to the park and ride around the park and everything. So I want to ride my bike again more. But I'm not willing to give that bike up right away. I, I bought a custom seat for that bike. That The seat that's on it now is not the original seat that was on it. I paid extra money in like almost 50 bucks or 30, uh, 35 bucks maybe plus shipping to have that, to get that seat so it was more comfortable for my ass. <laughs> 
But anyway, I hope you guys have a good night. It was fun to ride, for sure. Hi, kitty cat. We're about to get off of here now. Sorry you missed it. But you can watch the recording in a little while. It'll be up in a couple hours. I need to let it process. So sometimes when you get off the live stream and you want to go rewatch it or watch what you missed, if it's not available, wait a couple hours because it usually YouTube needs to process it. So I usually put it on private so that it has time to process so that it doesn't look all choppy when you go to rewatch it. Um, but all right. Have a good night, la uh, ladies. Hi, XX Lacey. Hi and bye, everybody. I will talk to you later. Poodle Pack out.